Well, oil was important because right at the beginning, the British invaded Mesopotamia because they were worried about the oil in uh, oil fields in Iran and their security. But of course, once the British had taken over Mesopotamia, they then discovered oil in Iraq itself, up in Kirkuk, uh, which was a mixed Arab-Kurdish uh, area of Iraq. And oil became extraordinarily important in terms of the development of Iraq after the Second World War. And it was important in two ways, because effectively the major oil company exploiting the oil was called the Iraq Petroleum Company, but it was wholly owned by non-Iraqis, a mixture, consortium of British, French, and American companies, largely British. And so in a sense, for many Iraqis, although oil revenues were beginning to make a difference to their lives, the oil was in the hands of foreigners. And so that set up a suspicion uh, that Iraqis held to this day, that basically foreigners are trying to steal their oil. And they only nationalized the oil company. They only took it over in 1972. So that was one part of it. But the second part of the effect of oil was it allowed Iraqi governments to detach themselves from the population. Most governments have to depend upon their population for taxation. So they have to somehow squeeze the taxes out of them. And you can't do that simply by brutality. You have to have set up some form of consent. If a government depends upon oil revenues, you don't have to do that. You have this vast income coming from outside the state itself, effectively, paid to you by foreign oil companies and consumers, and you can do whatever you want with it. So it created, it helped to create a very top-down system of power in Iraq, whereby those who held the state held the oil income and could do with it as they wished, without any chance of people coming back at them. So it reinforced, in many ways, the kind of state that the British had once set up, uh, as a very centralized authoritarian state.